Hey guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. Today I'll be reviewing Roleplay, now streaming on Prime Video. So this film is a new action comedy and it follows the same vein as a lot of other films that have come out, particularly in recent years. And in this one we have Kaylee Cuoco playing a mom who actually has a secret that she is an assassin. And once she is kind of discovered by her enemies and there's a price on her head, her family is put in danger and, they, and then action adventure and hijinks ensue. It's kind of interesting that we get this formula over and over again. It's kind of a try and true formula. I think people enjoy them. I personally thought this one was kind of middle tier when it comes to these kinds of movies. I think that Kaylee Cuoco brings her signature charm and comedic skills to this role, which helps kind of carry the movie. I think without her, it'd be a much worse film. She plays a character that you can root for and I think when she has to have more emotional scenes, she does a solid job. I think beneath the surface of a very generic and derivative plot, there's a, there's a lot of heart there. There's something beneath there that really could have been pushed a little bit further. I feel like the movie really is a paint by numbers kind of plot. And there was just, there was a little bit there that they could have definitely scratched beneath the surface. The themes of family and trust when they do shine through are some of the best parts of the film. But when it devolves into kind of, like I said, a very generic spy thriller comedy like we've seen before, it's really nothing to write home about. And that's not to say that it's egregiously bad. I don't think the acting is particularly bad. I think the action's fine. I think it falls flat and there's far few scenes with action. The first 30 minutes of the film, there's actually really not a lot going on. And the film kind of commits that card sin of being an action movie or a comedy film that isn't really that action filled and it really isn't that funny so it falls kind of flat for the most part and I would dare say that some people might find it just a touch boring at times. David Oyelowo is also in this film. He plays the husband that gets kind of thrown into this wild situation. He had no idea that his wife was this assassin. He's kind of like a regular guy. So we've seen this obviously before, kind of like the odd couple comedies where one person's a super spy, one person's a regular Joe. So that does that in this film. There's nothing really different when it comes to that kind of dynamic. Though I do think their chemistry is pretty decent. It's not like off the wall incredible, but they're both solid actors and they do a good job playing off of one another. And I think by the end of the film, you do feel invested in them as a unit and as their family. It was interesting seeing him in this kind of role. I haven't seen him in like a comedic role, at least not in a long time. I know him best from Selma where he's phenomenal and so it was interesting to see him play this kind of more lighthearted story. As far as the comedy goes in this film, I will say it's more witty than like laugh out loud funny. It's very loosely to even call this film a comedy. It does have comedic elements and I feel like it's going for comedy, but a lot of the time there is shifting more towards being thrilling or like I said, falling more into those kind of dramatic moments between the family and being thrown into these dangerous situations. And I feel like at times maybe that juxtaposition of trying to inject comedy into this film, maybe kind of of hurts it a little bit. It makes it a little lighthearted, a little easier to consume, but maybe it would have been better as more of like a thrilling, dramatic story, but I don't think you can do that if it's like this, oh, this mom is, the suburban mom is an assassin. Look at her husband doesn't know what's going on and her kids are... So I guess you couldn't really do that. So it would be interesting to see the story maybe told from a different perspective. Like I said, it feels like there's something beneath the surface, like the, the family elements and kind of the love and the kind of the bare bones elements of it are there. But when you just kind of cover it up with a very generic spy thriller plot, it just makes everything fall to the bottom. But still not a horrible movie. I think it's something that's, if you like these kind of movies, you'll probably enjoy it. It's worth checking out. There's a, like I said, there's a lot of movies like this that come out. So if you like this kind of formula, you'll probably like it. It's not like an aggressively bad movie in my opinion. So if you end up checking out Roleplay, let me know what you thought about it. I'd love to know if you like really enjoyed this movie because I think it's a genre that I've seen so many times. It's like a, the same story I've seen a lot of times that I'm kind of jaded to it. So maybe, you know, maybe I'd like to see it from the perspective of someone who's never seen those kind of movies or someone who likes those kind of movies so if you really enjoyed this movie make sure to share those comments if you didn't like it share those as well thanks for watching remember to like and subscribe and see you guys next time